Christmas and New Year can be an amazing opportunity to experience a new culture. Arguably, one of the best places to do this during this holiday season is the Mole National Park. Visitors are treated to a morning, afternoon and evening safari in the park to see animals like elephants, baboons, cubs and many more. City News visited the park on Christmas and Boxing Days to see how a typical Christmas day is like in the park. Here are some visitors sharing their experiences with us. This is my first time of coming here. And how are you feeling and now and what are you I'm expecting? I'm so excited about the things I've been hearing about Molly Park. In fact, what they say about it, it is really true. And I'm very excited to be here, to even spend the new year, the Christmas and the new year. I've been seeing cubs, mm. water bugs, monkeys and baboons. Mm. Elephants. You saw the elephant? Yeah. So how, how did you feel when you saw the, the elephant in particular? Very happy. Mm. Mm. It's a very nice place to visit. I've heard about Molly National Park, the animals and everything. I just wanted to have a feel for the ending of 2021. Mm. So that I encourage everybody to come and have a feel of Molly National Park. I saw how you were here when you saw the, I the elephant. I was so excited and very happy because this is my so first I'm time of visiting this yeah. place. So, so I'm very happen. excited. Mm. Yeah. So, so why did you choose to be here this Christmas day? Well, we just decided that as a family, let's just go away from home and experience nature. So we just decided to come here. It's, it's been an enjoyable experience so far. It's been quite pleasant. Yesterday, I think we got here and then the first things we saw were the wat hogs. Very fantastic. So, it's been fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying my time here. You're going on safari today. What are you hoping to see? Elephants. <laughs> Elephants. Okay. As many as I can. I saw one but from, from a far range yesterday. And I want to be able to see them up close today. Managers of Zena Lodge and Rukuria and Mole Motel, Sylvester Kubi, who provide accommodation services to those who wish to spend the night or some days in the park, also spoke to City News. The next two, three days we are fully booked. So if you call us for these days, we may not be able to have a shelter tent for you. Um, however, there is still some booking space for the end of the year from the 29th. So please mark the dates from the 29th of December going on until the 31st. We still have a few tents, but uh, they are filling up rather quickly. We, I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to the Ghanaian citizens because they have been the lifeline for Zena reopening after we had uh, closed our doors in uh, April of 2020. When we reopened, when we resumed business in uh, August of 2020, we, we saw the statistic that uh, even before COVID, 30% of our business was from Ghanaian national. The trend has always been uh, in a ratio of 77 for foreign tourists and 23 for uh, local tourists. But this particular season, we've noticed that a lot of uh, local couples, young couples, have uh, decided to spend the holidays in the Moli National Park. And, uh, there are also so many, a few other uh, locally based foreign foreigners who are also here. But of course, the blacks are more than the Europeans. The Ghanaians are more than the Europeans. Mr. Bonachire, the assistant park manager, says they are prepared and ready for more visitors come 2022. This is just a place for making memories, memories with the wildlife that we have, memories of sharing fun and excitement with family members. And this is the right place where you can have good, wonderful entertainment for yourself and for the kids. So we look forward to seeing everybody come around to experience uh, the wonders of nature. In fact, in the past, it wasn't the situation we're not getting the visitors. But now that visitors are coming, it makes us very, very happy and very able to also receive them with all the packages that we have in terms of safari and, and guiding. But most of all, it also is a duty for us to make sure that the 
various protocols that we have put in place will still be firmed up so that when visitors come they can enjoy the place in a safe and a serene environment just as we have always provided. Seeing this, I am sure you will love the fresh and green change of environment that Mole National Park provides. Being Ghana's largest wildlife refuge in the country's savannah region, the park is an excellent escape from your mundane routine. Christmas is not just a season of merrymaking and meeting friends and having fun. It is also a time to visit beautiful places such as the Mole National Park. Management here say all COVID-19 protocols are being observed and there's a lot of fun to experience here at the park. And they're looking forward to seeing you this new year. For City News, I am Richard Fogo, Mole 